had. It's Maximus here, this time with the review of the Harbor Freight High Flow quarter inch air fittings, the Merlins. These are actually the same as the Cobalt High Flow quarter inch air fittings, also known as the Milton V Groove High Flow quarter inch air fittings. And it really was like a marketing boon, and now there are all these knockoffs that are physically compatible with those Miltons. But these are a proprietary standard. They don't fit the industrial standard. They don't fit the automotive Parker standard air fittings. Those are the two most common styles. These are the these types of air fittings that have the, the noses on them are known as V Groove or Industrial slash Milton. It's just that these quarter inch high flows have just di slightly different dimensions. And so they are not compatible with traditional high flow couplers. They do require their own couplers. And indeed, these type of airflow fittings are not 3 8 fittings with MP, quarter inch MPT threads. They actually make 3 8 fittings. This is what you would always do when you wanted higher flow. You just got 3 8 fittings with quarter inch MPT. It wasn't complicated. You did not have to go buy a bunch of special high flow labeled stuff. You just got bigger fittings that were higher flow. And these, these are the industrial Milton V Groove standards. So they'll work in all the industrial shops and equipment and everything else that uses 3 8 fittings. And uh, we can see that these are significantly, they're not as big around at all. The nose is shorter, so they're not 3 8 fittings either. They really are their own proprietary standard. And people are kind of just being, I think, taken for a bit of a ride uh, getting a new proprietary set of air fittings because they're not going to be compatible with anything else. You're going to have, you know, get more air tools and you're going to be caught having to buy just these types of fittings and having to go to the shops that have them, like Harbor Freight, when you could just get 3 8 quarter inch IM standard plugs, just like these from Campbell Hausfeld. These are about, this was about $13 for this set, and you get a coupler and you get two 3 8 fittings. This was $13 at Harbor Freight. They're $15 at Lowe's, and they're the same physical thing, a different color at Lowe's. So I get these at Harbor Freight, and the Harbor Freight is one coupler, two uh, standard fittings, and then one female fitting. These are aluminum, and these are not going to hold up in any kind of real industrial environment. And I'm sorry to disappoint people who like, you know, quote-unquote, the lightweight nature of these aluminum fittings. You know, that's a little ridiculous considering the weight and nature of air tools. Aluminum is not going to take a tool like this and have it fall off a bench. I mean, look how thin the wall is on that thing. That wall, aluminum, it'll just crunch that the first time it hits the ground. And I think everybody knows that aluminum, even with a anodized black coating, doesn't stand a chance against solid, against billet brass and steel when you actually want something to hold up. And you always know if you have proper IM standard ones, and they usually come stamped like this IM, at least on these they laser etch HF onto them, so you do know that they're high flow. So these are a quick action. A lot of people like this where you can just push it in and it snaps shut and of course the normal spring loading to get it out. So besides not being very durable and aluminum obviously not being anywhere near the wear resistance of steel and brass, there's another little uh, dirty secret to these aluminum fittings and that is the fact that they have, or these automatic fittings, is that they have two seals in them. Do the way the, uh, the automatic works, there's a fundamental difference inside. Inside this air fitting, and this is not the scale, there's a tube that basically shaped like this. It actually has a cone on the bottom. There's a series of holes that are drilled around it. And so when it's closed, it, the little edge of the cone grips a seal down here and prevents it from leaking when you disconnect a tool while it's connected to a compressor. Well, the nose of the fitting also has to have a seal, and that's actually up here on the top of the tube. Two seals is worse than something like this, which just has a, a little piece shaped like this with a little brim around the edge that just hits the bottom of the very same seal that the nipple hits against. And instead of a series of small little holes around the edge, they just drilled a huge cross hole that's the same diameter as the top. If we look inside, this just has one big hole. It's just almost no metal there, so it's extremely high flow. And really, these types of couplers are not that difficult to deal with, and they're just so much more robust. And the difference in size between 
both the female or the male fittings here, just a huge difference. And these 3 8 fittings are still a little bit larger. They're about the same. That's what these are. Is they're kind of like a proprietary small size 3 8 bore fitting, but they just took all the outside material away and made them a special shape so they won't even work on your old stuff or industrial shops that have permanently uh, piped in air. The coupler the, itself has twice as many seals, so it's twice as much stuff to go out. And it's uh, it is also not as thick, not as heavy duty, and of course is aluminum. So this thing getting pounded on the ground is definitely not going to hold up like the traditional brass couplers. So in somebody's home shop, if you're already invested in those Milton or the Cobalts or these Harbor Freights, then you, you know, you're kind of stuck with it. Otherwise, just get industrial 3 8 IM standard. Industrial Milton 3 8 uh, air fittings and couplers that are on quarter inch MPT, so they'll be compatible with all your current tools. And you will get all the high flow of all these fancy high flow fittings. And in any situation where you end up taking your tool to uh, a shop, uh, any kind of industrial shop, welding, all that stuff, it will work on all the 3 8 equipment. It'll just fit up because that's the coupler standard they're using. The automotive standard is kind of going out. There's some places where people still use it. The idea is that it has a more of a blunt tip on it to be a little bit heavier duty, but they tend to leak more than this style. And yes, these do three do say three eights. I guess I should also just real quick show that yep, these are truly are the way to go for high flow fittings. And a little bit of extra weight doesn't really mean anything compared to. Uh, the amount of longevity you get out of these heavy duty 3 8 fittings. Anyway, that was my review and comparison, and uh, just kind of wanted to uh, point that out. You know, there were just actually a few videos on YouTube about these kind of air fittings, and I just wanted to hopefully save somebody, you know, some money from diving into a proprietary standard when there already is one that exists to deal with the issue that this attempts to market, selling you expensive air fittings that are going to get damaged and broken eat and wear out quickly so that you have to buy more expensive proprietary air fittings. And I'll leave on the note that remember your uh, airflow is always going to be restricted by the smallest orifice so unless all the tubing associated with your air tank and the regulator and your hose and everything else uh, are unless all of that's high flow then you're going to gain very little benefit. So just buying like a coupler set isn't going to be the whole thing. You're going to have to upgrade your regulator. If you have a small quarter inch regulator, you're going to have to upgrade your hose. It's going to be quite a bit of an investment. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.